Good morning guys, this is Marshall Kirby from Orchard Hill Farm Equipment. And behind me we have a, a new machine set up for our for a new customer here. Uh, this is going out this morning. This is the all new Mahindra Emax 20S uh, hydrostatic uh, with a loader and a front 48 inch snow blower on the front mid PTO drive. So I just wanted to go over this, show you also how we fitted a Burko Mac uh, soft cab to this tractor, fit right on uh, with a few minor adjustments. And uh, these cabs can be, they're a universal soft cab. It's just some vinyl and a roof um, with four posts set up. I mean, it's not perfect. It's a little unsturdy, but it's just to keep you out of the, you know, the storm or, or the snow when you're snow blowing and keep you warm and will not cost nearly as much as a full glass enclosure um, and cheap in case if you hit it, unlike glass. So, you know, that's kind of a nice setup um, we set on this. So it's a zipper opening setup as you come in here so you can get in and out like that you can leave these doors open and they still are going to cozy you up um it's a pretty nice little cab for the money um you know and, and pretty easy to take on and off you actually can lift it all right off which is sweet all right we have the loader propped in the air right now this is the emax 23l loader which comes standard with a 48 inch skid steer universal style quick attach bucket um, we just have this set up for shipping purposes right now. And then we have a 48 inch Burko Max Snowblower. We're going to get a front view of this set up. Um, it's got a reversible main steel cutting edge on the bottom down there. Comes standard with this piece to uh, grab the snow out of there if you get something stuck. Uh, two shear bolts in case you hit something. Um, it'll shear those or hit something too, too heavy for the snowblower. It's got a full frame that goes into right in rear in back of the rear axle and the mid PTO goes right to the middle of the tractor. This tractor comes standard with mid PTO as well. Um, we will normally have this loader off. Obviously this isn't normally how you'd operate the snowblower, but we're just have it hooked up like this so we can travel down the road with everything hooked in one piece. And once it gets to the customer's house, he'll probably take off the snowblower because he's going to go and use his loader. Um, and the next time he would disconnect his loader before he hooks up his snowblower. The uh, loader's quick disconnect, so a pin on each side, and uh, you got kickstands underneath, and four quick disconnect hydraulics. So a loader can come off in about five minutes. Again, just for shipping purposes, do we have it in the air? Um, skid shoes on each side that you can adjust up and down, which is pretty slick. This is more of an economy snowblower for a cheaper tractor option for the smaller homeowner or small lot guy, which is totally okay. It works flawless. Uh, this snow, I wouldn't bat an eye to see this snowblower throw snow 20, 30, 40 feet uh, without, you know, any issues. It is though, chute control is side to side, is a turn handle. So we're going to undo this side of the cab and kind of show you real quick inside here how we have this set up. So the, uh, the turn chute set up for that thing, as you can see, as the snow, as I'm turning this, that chute up front there, as you look, is turning side to side that's how you're going to turn it um, as you'll see in the front there me turning it there so that kind of works okay if you don't like this setup they do offer an electronic chute deflector and side to side kit which can be yours for usually around 350 bucks for that feature and that way you never have to turn this control it's all inside here on a joystick and then obviously your loader joystick controls the lifting and lowering of that snow blower right there um, so pretty slick this tractor has two range transmission, comes standard in two wheel drive slash four wheel drive. It's a mechanical on and off lever. And then you got three point hitch on the back and it's a hydrostatic forward and reverse pedal right there. Pretty generic, pretty simple. This tractor's got a Yanmar three cylinder, 19 and a half horse diesel in it, uh, which has been very reliable. They've used this engine on a lot of these small compact, subcompact tractors and uh, has a foldable roll, ROPS bar in the back, which is a nice feature. So this is actually an open station tractor. We just added this soft cab with the front blower, but I'm gonna show you something real quick. We're gonna take a quick walk in the showroom and I'm gonna show you this same tractor as they make with a full glass enclosure. So we're gonna walk inside the showroom here. So this is that same Emax 20 with a full glass enclosure that they'll make. The windows on this one, um, generally here, the windows pop out so you can get some airflow in there. 
The doors can pop off as well. You got side mirrors to see what's going on in back of you on both sides. You got a front wiper. Your rear window does open. It's got a lever on it. You can open that mechanical window open. And you got cab lights on the top and the rear. Uh, and this cab's heated, whereas those soft cabs are not. Um, so I just wanted to give you a quick little sh showing of the actual steel cab because I know this winter we're going to sell a very good amount of these tractors and the price point on it is very, very competitive. And most tra there's not another company out in the market that has a factory glass cab in an under 20 horsepower subcompact tractor. So this tractor with a glass cab and a front blower is going to be an awesome sidewalk snow blowing machine. Again, guys, my name is Marshall Kirby from Orchard Hill Farm Equipment. Today we went over the Emax 20S HST with two different style cabs and the loader and the Burko Mac front 48 inch snow blower on the front there that Mahindra offers. If I can answer any other questions, shoot me an email at info at orchardhillsales.com or visit us on our website at www.orchardhillsales.com. Thanks.